If you're just starting out with a Cisco Business Network, it can be overwhelming. There's a lot to learn. One of the first and most common actions you need to perform as a network administrator is accessing the hardware. Accessing the web user interface is the easiest way to do configurations, updates, and troubleshooting. It certainly comes in handy. Luckily, every Cisco business switch, besides the 100 series, comes with a web UI. This type of interface, what you see on your screen, shows options for selection. You do not need to know any special commands to navigate through these screens. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to access the web UI of your Cisco business switch. There are two different ways to access the web UI. The first scenario is if the switch is not directly connected to your network and isn't receiving an IP address via your DHCP server. The second scenario is when your switch is connected to your network and your network is providing a DHCP address for it. I'll start with the switch not directly connected to the network. To start, we need to log into the switch with its IP address. So we will need to determine what that IP address is. I'm going to connect to the switch when it is not connected to the network, getting a DHCP address. To do this, I'll connect the switch to my PC with an ethernet cable. By default, the switch will have an IP address of 192.168.1.254. In this situation, on the front of the switch, the system light will be flashing green. That means it is up and operational, but it is not receiving an IP address via Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, DHCP. If the switch has an IP address assigned to it, either via DHCP server or statically on the switch, the system LED will be solid green. Click the Windows icon at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Select the gear icon for settings. Go into the network and internet options on the Windows PC. You can also access this with a right click on the internet status icon on the bottom right of your screen and select open network and internet settings. Change adapter options to go to the ethernet connection. It shows an unidentified network. Right click and select properties. Go into IPv4. Double click it or select and click properties. Statically assign an IP address to the computer in the same subnet as the switch. In this case, I'll enter 192.168.1.10 and hit tab. The correct subnet mask automatically fills in with a slash 24, which is 255.255.255.0. We don't need a default gateway, but if you want, you can enter it it would be the IP address of the switch. I'll skip that. Since it's all in the same subnet, it isn't necessary. Click OK and then close. Nothing will change here on the status, but if you want to verify your IP address on the computer, open a command prompt here and enter ipconfig space slash all. Here, under ethernet adapter, the IP address is assigned as well as the subnet mask. In the browser, type in the IP address of the switch. Again, it goes straight to the login screen. The default username and password for both is Cisco, all lowercase. Once logged in, you need to change the username and password. Assuming the password matches, everything will go smoothly here, and it should log you out of this switch when you hit apply and give it a couple of seconds. From now on, log in with the new credentials. Now that you are logged in, you will notice a flashing red save icon, which indicates that there has been a change to the configuration. In this case, it was the username and password. From here, you can manage the switch as needed. Now I'll show you how to manage the switch when it is connected directly to a network that is supplying a DHCP address to the switch. First, find out and verify that you have an IP address assigned to the computer in the same network as the switch. In the Windows search bar, type CMD and select to open the command prompt. Enter ipconfig space forward slash all. 
In this example, my ethernet has the following IP address ending in .124. Another way to find the IP address is to run an IP scanner. There are many options for IP scanners that can be found and downloaded with a simple Google search. Cisco does not support or recommend any specific software for this process. The one I chose is called Advanced IP Scanner. Here, you can see the IP address that is connected to a specific MAC address. A MAC address is the unique number associated with a specific piece of equipment. The MAC address can also be found on the back or the bottom of the switch. Mine is the one ending in 25,028, and it's receiving the IP address ending in 129. I'm going to put this IP address into a web browser. In this example, I'll use Firefox. Once the IP address of the switch is entered, the login screen is shown. From here, log in with your credentials to get into the web UI of the switch. As you can see, you're now logged into your device's web UI login page and have the power to control the switch as needed. After following these steps for connectivity with your CBS switch, you should be on your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.